Welcome back to another YouTube Tuesday. My name is Derek, and today we're going to be reviewing a video from a channel that I've been following for quite some time. Now, you've probably heard of this YouTube channel before, as the video creator is known for making a lot of short form content, but he really enjoys the repair side of things, and that creator is Phone Repair Guru. Phone Repair Guru is on his way to 5 million subscribers. He's posted over a thousand videos and over 700 of those videos are his short form content, which are highly entertaining. The video that I want to cover today is one where he talks about something that a lot of techs just skip over. And there's been quite a bit of questions about this particular topic. And in this video, he, he covers a solution to one of the issues that we see in the industry. So let's get into the video. True tone is something a lot of technicians don't pay attention to. While it isn't absolutely crucial, it is a feature lost without reprogramming the new screen replacement. The real question is, can we bring it back? That's what we're going to find out in this video. When you replace an iPhone screen, you're required to reprogram the new screen using the old one. You connect it to a programmer, which reads the screen serial number and writes it onto a new display. If you skip this step, you lose a feature called True Tone. My goal is to revive the serial number without the old screen. This iPhone 11 does not have True Tone as the screen was changed without reprogramming it. We first have to retrieve the serial number. We can do so by connecting the phone to 3U tools. We can click on View iDevice Details, which shows us the serial number. We're looking for a cover board number, and by clicking on it, it automatically copies the serial number, so you don't have to do too much. Now we have the serial number, but we need a way to copy the data onto the new screen. The programmers are made by Keon Lee and they have a software that is compatible with them. I already downloaded it, links in description. Under the chip section, there is a button that says Origin Color Restore without Origin LCD. That's exactly what we need. When we click on it, we're presented with a place to paste the serial number. So it's time to remove the screen from the phone and see if this works. So if you haven't already guessed it, the question that a lot of people have is what do I do if the screen has already been replaced and I don't have access to the original screen. And this is what he's showing here. With a programmer and using a program like 3 Utils, you'll be able to get that serial number so that you can write the True Tone onto a display without having the original. Now it's much easier if you have the original, simply plugging it into one of these programmers so that you can copy it over and transfer it over to the new display right then and there. It's a couple clicks. It's it's totally worth doing because you keep that true tone function. It's one of those things that kind of just works in the background. So people don't really pay attention much to it. They might not even notice if you don't transfer it over. But it's just one of those details where it's like going that extra mile for your customer if especially because it's only a couple clicks. Just do it. Just do it! Open it up, unscrew, remove the screen. Now we can take our programmer, plug it into the computer. The program immediately recognizes that it is connected. We'll click the button, connect the screen to the programmer, and hit repair. The program is now transferring the data onto the programmer, which will then program the new screen. We got a message that says, write in succeed. So let's test it out. We'll put away the computer and put the LCD back on the iPhone 11. Boot it up and this is the moment of truth. If you didn't notice it, the replacement screen that was already on the phone is a mobile centric screen. As you can see right here, you've got the red mobile centric sticker. And the reason I point that out is because not every aftermarket screen is true tone transferable. That's one of the things that you will see with mobile centric screens is you can transfer true tone to them. Now you do have to know what programmer to use because some will work with originals and they have a separate board for aftermarket screens if you're wanting to transfer true tone to them. This uh, programmer that he's using, it has this little connecting logic board here with all the different connectors on it. There are different boards that you could put into this programmer and have it work. Now there are a bunch of different ones out there. Quan Lee obviously has their Apollo Interstellar. You've got the iCopy Plus and a handful more all available on mobilecentrics.com. Or if you're in Canada, mobilecentrics.ca. 
like the phone repair guru is. Boot it up, and this is the moment of truth. And there we go, guys. We have True Tone back. So that is how you restore True Tone without the original screen. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, be sure to get that crunch. There's a quick look into the phone repair guru. His videos are a lot of fun, especially going through his shorts. They're highly entertaining, they're rewatchable, and there's a lot of them. If there's a channel that you'd like to see featured on one of the following Tuesdays this year, leave it in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on future videos. And we'll see you tomorrow for a Microsoldering Wednesday.